Hey everybody, this is Qua. I just wanted to uh, create a quick video to show you my Hobby King Hercules 500 quadcopter with all the components installed um, ready to fly. So this is what you can expect your, your quad to look like when you complete building it and also installing all the electronic stuff that will allow you to uh, to get this thing off of, off the off the floor off the ground. Um, so I went with a Hobby King KK2 board, um, flight board because um, my research, you know, it says that this is the easiest board to set up for a beginner um, because you don't need a computer, you don't need a, a programmer. You basically can set it up directly on, you know, on the board. I mean, you can see there's a screen, and you can just push the buttons, and you can tune your board uh, directly without having to go to a computer. I've used other flight boards um, on helis and on on planes and where you actually had to have a computer to program it and it's a pain in the ass. Um, and this one, you know, basically with the screen on, with the uh, screen on top, it just eliminated that issue for me. So, um, so that was good. I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons why um, I chose it, and um, what I did was that um, I just mounted it. This is the the foam that you see right here. I mounted that onto the frame, even though that there was a part on the frame where you can use to screw in. There were nylon spacers you can use to de that was designed for the board. I just I just put this you know I just put the foam container that the board came in because I thought it was a good way to isolate uh, the, vi the vibration from the frame itself um, and, and it also protects the, uh, the board. So it kind of solves you know, both problems for me because I was looking around for a way to protect the board because it's kind of naked out there. But it came in the container, so that I think it works pretty well. It does double duty, Isol uh, vibration isolation and protection. So, um, you know, but if you don't want to do that, then you can certainly you can certainly screw the the board directly onto the frame itself. Um, the thing that I really like about this uh, kit so far is that everything fits. I mean, you know, the the uh, power board, the power distribution board fits perfectly. The KK2 board fits perfectly. The ESCs fit perfectly. I have um, I have um, the Afro Series 20 amp ESCs. Um, and they just kind of fit right between the wings. They're well protected. They're not exposed. And um, all the, you know, the motors, you know, for instance, I had I didn't have to do any any soldering um, or any um, you know any extensions. And basically, all the like the if you from motor, the, uh, the electrical leads to the ESCs, and then to the control board, it all basically was perfect. I mean, you know, there's maybe a couple millimeters per, to spare, but if you use the components that I did, then you won't need to do any cutting, you don't need to do any soldering, you don't need to do measuring, you can just install it. It's a, basically a straight install. Um, so the uh, you'll see that I have these nap lights, um, and that is to help with orientation. Um, I mean, I know that a lot of people are using LED strips, which are cool. I mean, they look, you know, really blinged out, but I I wanted to try this out. I also got it from Hobby King, and see how it would help me with navigation. Um, so you see it blinking. I don't know how much, how much of a battery drain that they will have, but uh, we'll see what happens. And then I mounted my receiver here. Um, I use a Fry, I use a FreeSky receiver. And it has the the uh, the tail, so I think that uh, having the exposed tail will help with the uh, with re with the uh, you know re receiving signal and not losing signal. Um, let me see what else. And up front here is where I'm going to have the camera equipment when I start using it for FBP purposes. I'm still practicing. I actually took it out on a flight today, and it hovers really well really really well so I'm actually very happy I mean 
being that I'm a complete novice to quadcopters. I mean, I've flown um, helis and I've flown um, airplanes, but I've never flown quad before and I've built a quad before. So it actually was very pleasing to have everything come together and it hovers just super stable. And one thing that I did that um, you I want to bring your attention is that I actually attach these these motors they came with spinners right they actually came with prop adapters but um, I actually mounted this using zip ties I don't know if you can see this um, and I just basically zip tied the blades to the um, to the motor and surprisingly this actually does not change the um, the blades what do you call it uh, ability aerodynamic um, you know um, aerodynamic ability or, or, or function whatever what you know I mean it doesn't change at all and it actually is very stable and actually it was more stable than the aluminum prop adapters because I used them uh, initially for my first flight and they were very wobbly uh, because they, because the the prop was a little fur further away, the prop if you use the aluminum adapter is almost like one inch away from the motor, but here, using this you know just zip tying it down there, the prop is very close to the motor, so there's not a lot of opportunity for the transference of vibration. So I was very surprised. I saw, you know, it's not a technique I came up. I saw um, you know a person on some forum suggest this and I just, just give it a try and it actually worked out well and um, my quad is hovering better now with um, zip tied um, props believe it or not I mean it's, I'm, I was surprised and uh, but just give it a try um, you might be surprised too so basically here's what it looks like on the bottom here is the uh, battery tray uh, I'll probably get a 4S battery right now. It's on on 3S, uh, which is fine. But flight time, I think, are about five minutes. So I think if I went with 4S or some, a bigger battery, then I'll probably get more flight time because I'm looking to maximize flight time. And the yellow thing is actually the control board for the uh, LED lights, navigation lights. So anyway, this is um, you know this is what my my Hercules, Hobby King Hercules quadcopter looks like, all assembled. Um, I want to point out that I was missing these spacers in the kit, um, and what I did was I just got some nylon spacers and used some extra screws, and so basically problem solved. It was not a really big deal. Um, I, could, I solved it in about two minutes. So, But anyway, I hope that this uh, build video has inspired you or helped you in, you in some way. And so uh, I will I will provide a flight video. Uh, it's not going to be pretty uh, because I'm a really crappy quad pilot. I just started, but you can see that it's very stable. I mean that's the main point I want to I want to I want to emphasize through my flight video, and I'll I'll be producing that very soon. So this is Qua. Um, happy landings out.